Hey guys, it's Dane here with part 8 of the Batman build, and today we're going to be working on this. This, if you can't tell, is the neck guard. Huh? I mean, obviously my hair is a little in the way, but you'll get the idea soon. Usually with a cowl, that is flexible, this will be attached, but with hard cowls, this is a separate piece. So I'm going to show you how I made this. Let's get to it. Okay guys, so I'm making the neck guard for the Batman build. And essentially, it's just the thing that goes around your neck that is a, supposed to be like attached to cowls. Sometimes it goes under a cowl, sometimes it's attached to a cowl. But since my cowl is hard and you can't really fit that over your head with this attached, I'm going to make mine out of foam and cloth, and I have this pattern drawn out. Cut these pieces out. Um, I'm going to cut this into pieces also, though, because I'm going to have this be an extra layer of foam, this be an extra layer of foam, this covered in cloth, and this whole covered in cloth. So I'm going to just, uh, yeah, cut this out and glue that on. And, yeah. This is the same cloth from the Batman cape. It'll just give some continuity. I'm cutting these edges smaller so that way when I glue foam over the top where this is, it's not going to have cloth showing through the edges. Glue that there. I'm going to lay out the cloth patterns for this. I'm going to cut this pattern best I can so it looks nice. This is going to be one piece of foam with a line cut into it, maybe two pieces cut. This is going to be cloth. And this will be a piece of foam. I'll cut that out later. I want all these edges to, to fold over so I can fold them over on the tops and bottoms but then glue foam on top so it looks seamless. So I'm just going to trace, oh, let's say, a quarter of an inch around it. Yeah, I'll do that. I'll cut that out and then I'm going to glue stuff on and I'll show you that when I'm there. Okay, let's see if this actually worked. That's what happens when you put contacts in it. really expect or think about it soaking through the cloth. Okay, with the foam glued over the top of these, it'll look better eventually. Just looks sort of funky right now. But, yeah. That's good enough. Uh, once I get the foam on there, you guys will be like, oh yeah, that looks fine. So let's get to that. Let's cut these pieces out. One. You notice I used the straight edge of the foam for the straight edges of each piece. There's a little hole in this, so I didn't put it up on that, so I just did it on that straight edge. Just makes stuff easier if you do it like that. Two pieces. Ah, ah, ah. Alright, so I'm going to put some lines in these that look like this. I'm going to probably do it with a pin. It's going to look good. Then I'm going to glue them on. In case you're wondering, I'm just taking this mechanical pencil, running it along this line. It'll stay in the foam and it looks cool. Makes it look like two pieces without really being all that difficult to do. Now I have to do it on this one. I'm just going to place this on there, trace this line, and that's it. But this is what it's looking like, and 
this part has just cloth here so it's well I mean it's gonna bend around my neck so it's just gonna wrap around so cool all right so I I know it's loud but I have this taped up to cover the cloth and I'm going to be using some plastic dip to spray over it and yep All right guys, I have the neck guard here and I'm going to show you how I'm going to finish it. I'm not going to do any weathering on it because the neck usually doesn't get worn too much. I might add some weathering later, but I'm going to take some mop and glow floor stuff and I'm going to just rub it on there. And it's going to be a time lapse, so here we go. All right guys, so here it is. As you can see, it's a lot shinier because the paint I had on here was pretty matte, but now with this on here, it's going to protect the paint. And you also could tell that I was dabbing it on. So that way it wouldn't rub off the uh, initial acrylic paint because acrylic paint doesn't really stick to foam all too well. I mean, there was plastic dip underneath here, but when you want to put the floor coating on, you're going to dab it on and then you very lightly wipe it off or very lightly wipe it around so that way it has a good coating on it. It's a wax finish so now it's just going to protect it from scratches and stuff. It's going to be like a, it's a floor finish so it's going to make it pretty strong but it's also durable and flexible. Yeah, that's what it is and I'll show you what this looks like at the uh, at the end around my neck. One thing I forgot to mention when I was talking about putting on the top coat, which is the floor coating, the wax polish, is I put on three coats. If you put on three coats, then it gets pretty well protected and it stays shiny. Yeah, and so for connecting it, I just glued on some Velcro here and an extra panel right here, as you can see, of two millimeter foam right here, and put Velcro on that as well. And it makes it so it just wraps around, connects like that in the back. Yeah. And I designed this to look like, at least in the video game, it looks like he's wearing a collar on part of his thing. And then he has the cowbell underneath it. So I made it so it looks like it's a collar. It's a cowbell that goes underneath. And this cloth here bends so you know, your neck doesn't get constricted. Like, there's no foam here, it's only cloth, thin cloth, so that way when it's wrapped on your neck, this can fold down and move where your neck goes, and it just makes it so you're not just like, going like that all over the place, you know? Makes sense, right? Awesome. Hey, thanks again for watching this video, guys. If you liked it, please give it a like and leave a comment below. Be sure to check out one of my other videos, maybe a Batman build or another build, and we'll see you next time.